What's up guys, Sloppy Wet Blow here. Well guess what guys, the computer is finally done. Unbelievable. It's been a rough couple days, I had a problem with it not booting. Um, ends up the 4 pin power connector wasn't in deep enough, my friend Russ discovered this and it's been fun <laughs> building and doing all this. So let's just go over some stuff fast. This is the NCXT Phantom 820 case. It's awesome looking. Right now you can see the LED lights that comes with it. You could, There's a dial in the front to dial in different shades and different colors. I went with the Rampage 5 Extreme by Asus. I love it. I had the, uh, the other two version in the other computer. So it was a no-brainer for me. GTX 980. That is from the other computer. I went with the Corsair H105 cooler should look familiar because I have one on the other computer as well. I just got a new one. I moved over the sound card. The Asus Phoebus is moved over. Okay, I went with the DDR4 by Rip Jaws. It's at 3000 megahertz. There's a Republic of Gamers link. Just showing you the bottom. Try to show you some stuff in here. Okay, we also went with Samsung 840 Pro Series SSD drives. I got three 512 drives. Two of them in RAID 0 Stripe for my actual operating system. I have one 512 backup for my gaming videos. I'm going to put them on there when I film. And I have a 3 terabit Western Digital Black Edition for mass storage. Um, we'll get into some stuff. I just want to let you know I did try some gaming I tried the Metro 2033 Redux. It runs absolutely awesome. Overclocking and all the BIOS is new to me. It's a new BIOS. So I'm not used to it at all. I have to learn it. Um, so we'll get into that in time. So I just keep wanting to show you the case. It's got fans, 200 millimeter on the side, a 140 on the left. I end up installing up on top the radiator and on the front is a 200 millimeter fan it has a built-in fan controller which is just great you can hook up a million different fans so that's that and one more thing guys quickly i just want to show you here you go yeah 5960x running it's at uh, almost 4,000 megahertz right now and it's running really really smooth so that's it guys uh when i get back from my trip we'll start throwing some videos up and all that stuff just wanted to show you that.